So I suppose you want to know about the sex. First, we should focus on why you felt you needed to come here today. I'm sure it's all my own fault. My own neuroses. Just feel like she's walking all over me. I let her move into my apartment and... Even though her stuff takes up a tiny corner of the room, it's, it's like she dominates the whole space. And I know the interracial thing, it, it, it shouldn't matter, but... But does it matter? Or is it more what other people think that bothers you? Personally, I mean, I don't give a shit what people think when they see us walking down the street. And yet? I hardly see her race anymore. But it's the taunts, the, the, the looks, the, the whispers behind our backs. It really grinds you down after a while. It's like we can walk into a restaurant and it's, it's like the waiter. He can't even see her. He looks straight through her and only talks to me. And it's only when I make him notice her does he pay her any attention. It's little things like that. You say it's more about how you both cope when you're on your own in the bedroom that concerns you. She's a, a, a size queen. Let's say it out loud. It's a lot to live up to. She's a very powerful woman. Why don't you tell me what you really love about Harriet? We were soulmates from the first time we met. You know, that evening, that first evening was... I mean, she, she was so sweet. She said she wanted to put me in her pocket and take me home with her. And what, at this moment in time, do you dislike about her? You know, I, I feel like she hides from me. And then there's the stealing. Stealing, you've not mentioned that before. It's constant. I mean, some of her family have been imprisoned for theft. It's in her blood, it seems. I mean, I'd hate to say it's connected to race, but... That would be a very provocative statement, Mr Swift. Well, I'm not a racist. Of course not. But subconsciously, I believe these issues may be a factor. And now might be a good juncture to ask Harriet to join us, if you're agreeable with that. Yeah, of course, yeah. OK. <clears throat> Harriet. She doesn't like being picked up, do you, dear? No. It feels like I'm being treated like a kitten. And I'm not a kitten. Uh, so, Harriet, you're a borrowed... Person of Lilliputian proportions. That's the phrase we're using at the moment. My apologies, of course. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so where do you feel things are going wrong at the moment? I wasn't satisfied with my own people. With them, it's like... Whatever. That tickles. <laughs> No, I wanted something more substantial. Boyd's a really decent guy. But our life's so complicated. You know, there's the interracial thing and physicality. I know he doesn't try to hurt me, but... I'm trying my best. I mean, it's, it's a very difficult situation, but you... I mean, she... You, you keep stealing my matchboxes for furniture, my mother's thimbles for stools, my, you know, jam jars, pennies, anything. It's, it's beyond a joke, really. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. We've been through that. Sorry. Well, it's just something my people do. Live with it. Then I have this recurring dream where I wake up in the morning and during the night I've rolled over and she's like a gingerbread man. 
so um, how does it uh, <clears throat> how does it actually work in the bedroom? Sorry, I I shouldn't have asked. No, that. it's okay. It's fine. Everyone gets around to asking sooner or later. Um, it's difficult. I would love him to, you know, but it's like pushing a panda through a toilet roll, so. Uh, during the day, she uses this as a work desk. <laughs> An accountant. And at night, I pleasure her with this. We joke, don't we, Bide? <laughs> we do, don't we? We say, I hope this doesn't explode inside you. Yeah. Doesn't bear thinking about it, really. Once I got my head trapped in his foreskin, and it was hours of... Well, it was a living nightmare. Well, I suppose that's why we're here, really, isn't it? I mean, we, we found this support group on the internet and it helps hype mismatched couples come up with solutions to their lovemaking and we really want to do this, don't we? We just weren't sure if it was, um, well, if it was natural. So we, we'd love to ask for your opinion. Maybe you'd like to, um, maybe it would be helpful if you could actually uh, show me what it is you do. I mean, I'm, I'm unshockable. I've seen everything in my career. I've got you. Ooh, I've got you. 